Hello again, welcome to another video. Today we're in Mid Wales. Just kind of digging some. Kind of digging on, yeah. Yeah, kind of digging. Kind of digging on. We're with Danny. Oh. Rush outside Wales, and we're joined by Leighton, Danny's, Danny's mate. Oh. Simon. Today we're going to do five peaks all in the Plind Limon area and hopefully a wild camp as well. So let's go. Yeah, we parked down there, it's like a farmhouse. Put a fiver in the tin, you can park it all day. So making our way up this path, past these farm buildings and heading up this way and the first peak I believe is a gan six four nine meter sign is that what Danny said? I can't remember what he said no yeah six six hundred meters plus anyway so not too bad started raining a little bit but nothing nothing to worry about at the moment so yeah just taking our time and heading up gate fence we dropped all our packs there we're going to take a hike up to the first peak of the day which is a gan which is up there then we're going to come back down retrieve the packs and then follow the fence line all the way up to Plain Lemon Bower right we are here the first summit of the day and this is a uh, the Cambrian Mountains equivalent of a gun. How high is this then? 684. 684 meters. again back on the trail now back on the Cambrian way going up there We'll see. Enjoying this though. Another four summits to go. Yeah. Then we're gonna hopefully camp on the summit of Plain Lemon Vawa. That's the aim. Look at that for a few guys.
Right, some is a plain lemon power. I got it on camera. <laughs> right. right. We're having a <laughs> We're having a bit of a breather. You didn't say all right, back miserable. <laughs> yeah, we're having a breather in the little oh, big. big wind shelter thing. Uh three more peaks to do. And set up camp. There's a trade point. So yeah, all fun. What we're gonna do now is we've all our packs in our little shelter there. a cup of coffee and then head down to Plain Lemon Vare which is down there so right let's go back the other two right here's the third summit of the day what I'll do I'll put the name of it on the screen Summit. So let's go and have a look. Danny's up there already, as is Leighton. So this is the fourth summit of the day. I'll put the name up of it on the screen so you can see what it's called and how high it is. And if you want to come here, just um, type the name of it on Google and you're good to go. Looks like a headstone or something. Salop. T O N Salop. Salop. Shrewsbury. That's uh, Shropshire. Shropshire, sorry. Man, man. Um, pile of stones as well, just in case we got the wrong summit. But just to make sure we've got, we've got them both done. That's this one.
Well earned drink of water. God pack. Wax. We've done eight miles, you know. We're doing the last one. Yeah. I might pass on it. No, you're doing it. <laughs> you come all this way. Watch my it's finger. Kilo. <laughs> it's, it's about a third of a kilometre, if that. All right, I'll do it. There is a bit of, there is a bit of down and up involved, though. Don't mind a bit of down and up. <laughs> Or up and down. <laughs> and in and out. And then shaking all about. <laughs> On our way down now to the, the final summit of the day. Plin Limon Vach, I think it's called. Is that sign? No, I don't know. I don't know the exact height of it, but. 600 and something, isn't it? Yeah, it's got to be over 600. Yeah, it's three classes of nut all. That's going on the video. Where is it? Don't say that, I know that. Don't say he's just trying to have to go all the way down to go back up. Don't look that high, does it? Oh, it's the height. Yeah. Is this thing? It's alright. <laughs> Is this thing all back? Yeah. Right, come on. Come on, let's get it done. This is the fifth. Gonna have a well earned drink then. Yeah. He's like a slave driver, Danny, isn't he? <laughs> like a slave driver. Yeah.
think we've done about nine miles so far. And I don't know why, I'm feeling it today. Both of my knees are shot. I don't normally get trouble with my knees or my legs, but today, God, really hurt me. So I'm gonna check in my first aid bag, first aid kit when I get back a bit. See if I've got any painkillers. I think I have. Well, I hope I have, but. Oh. Tough old hike today, five peaks. Very enjoyable. But I had, really had. Oh. Right, let's push on. Right, so we dropped down from the summit. Summit's just up there. Danny's got his tent up. Leighton's doing his now. And it's not a lot of level ground there, it's a bit rocky, so me and Simon are thinking pitch up around here. So I'm pitching up a new tent right? And I'll show you what that is in a minute. Right, let's get him up. need sunglasses for mine. There's my new tent, the MSR Access one. In orange, they also do a green one. Simon's got the Van Gogh Nevis 200. Danny's got the Nature Hike Cloud Peak, I think it is. And Leighton's got Van Gogh Banshee 200. So yeah, we just dropped down from the summit a little bit. Just slightly out of the wind, but at the same time, I want to put I want a bit of wind on the side of this tent, just so I can test it out a little bit. I've heard a few um, a few stories about these tents. Um, either the poles have snapped. Uh, I've heard also heard they're not that good in the wind, but I'd rather buy the tent and try it off myself and see how I, how I get on with it so so yeah so far so good I'm liking the look of it definite quality to it so yeah I'll see how I get on with it I'll just show you inside a bit quick I haven't done my bed in yet as you can see but I like this. Pockets either end of the tent. That's handy. I like that. And one this end. I like this as well. Nice high wall. And it's also good. You can sit up in it. You've got fair bit of space above my head. Yeah, plenty of room for one person. Decent sized vestibule area, so you can put a pack in there. With all the bits and pieces. So on first impressions, yeah, really good. Just see how I get on with it in the night. I'll let you know in the morning. Yeah, just sat in the tent. Um, cracking walk that I've done about, um, called the Danny, about nine miles today. And we've done five peaks, as you've seen. Um, yeah, cracking like that was. Very remote, uh, the Cambria Mountains. You see a few people up here, but it's not overly busy. 
which is good. So yeah, I'm gonna have a nice, well earned cup of coffee now, because uh, I only had a drink all day and a small bottle of water, but yeah, if we, we deserve this, well earned. So yeah, we're gonna have a, uh, a good night, I think. Me, Mark, Danny and Leighton. We're gonna go in the cairn up on the, the summit. And I think we're, we're gonna put a tarp over the top of the, the cairn, this old wall. Uh, so it's the shelter, not the cairn. The shelter. And uh, we're gonna sit in there and have some food, I think. And uh, have a couple of, couple of drinks. Yeah, cracking day. Cracking day. Tastes so good. Oh, absolutely shattered. Oh, needed this big time. It's absolutely killed us. She is down for that. <laughs> we just hold these pencils, you know what I mean? Well, we're not far off, are we? So, um, we come up to this little stone, well, big stone shelter. I keep calling it little, it's big. We're gonna, we're gonna cook in here. It's nice because it's too windy. Down by the tent, we'd have no chance, so we're gonna get some food on the go. And look at this for a view. The clouds lifted a little bit and we've got a little bit of sun in the distance. That's setting up. So bad down there. Yeah, beautiful place. Right, on tonight's menu is boil in the bag rice, stacked chili. Well, we need the trout pot. New ish, eh? I've added about a year, I think. And it's fresh. That's it. And you've guessed it, a can of the Herefordshire fire water. Rice is cooking. Another can of the fire water. Leighton's on his carly. What's, What's that, vo Vocation, life and death. Nice. You all know what this is by now, don't you? Fire water. Makes a change, he's normally on the carlin. <laughs> I like carlin. <laughs> Chicken and rice. Pillow rice. Pillow rice. As you can see, the rice is done. I've mixed it with the chilli. Just let that warm through now. And it's done. Check this out. Pillow rice. No. Oh, just got back to the tent. Can you see it? <laughs> you see it on Google, eh? It's like a beacon, isn't it? It's like bonkers, that is. But I've got to be fair, it's held up in the wind. Yeah, like I said earlier, I've read a few stories about they don't handle the wind and they've had poles snap. It's been blowing a gale all night and got to be fair, he's doing the job.
we've all just got back in the tents. Yeah, awesome nights. Had a few beers, the four of us. Just sat around talking. Yeah. Back in my little palace now, the MSR Access one. And I gotta be fair, yeah, really liking it. Pretty decent amount of space. Nice, good tent. Anyway, see you in the morning. Good night. Let's have a look outside, is it? <laughs> Let's see what it's really like. Whoa. That is gross. Nightmare, man. Bloody hell. <laughs> As you can probably see, we're all packing up. Simon's tent's down. Danny and Leighton's tent's down. It's just this one to take down now. And then, we're making our way back down. All the tents are down, as usual. No trace left. Everything we brought, we're taking back out, like we always do. I'll see you down the van. We're back in the car now from Plain Lim and Vower. Another great camp with Danny, Russell Side Wales. And nice to meet Leighton as well. First ever wild camp. First ever wild camp. Hopefully, we'll see him again sometime Bye. soon. So yeah, until the next one, see you again.